I'm Carl Anthony, Managing Editor for Auto Vision News, and welcome to AutoSense Insights. We're speaking today with Philip Goons, who is the CEO of Zenomatics. And Philip, welcome back to AutoSense. It's so good to see you again. Likewise, uh, Carl. It's always a pleasure to meet you here at this nice event. So we have so much to talk about with Zenomatics, and I always enjoy getting caught up with you. And, and I think one of the most exciting news items for Zenomatics right now is the launch of the new road scanning business. Can you tell us about that? Yes, uh, a lot happened uh, since we met in September 2019. The, the previous year has been a very busy one uh, for uh, Zenomatics, so we have a lot of uh, new stuff uh, going on. And one of these indeed being our road scanning uh, services. So we have started digitizing roads on large scale, and we do this with our 6D road scanning technology. And that means that we bring together just much more information on uh, the road surface. We're using our short range uh, LiDAR combined uh, with visual uh, camera data. And as a sixth output, sixth dimension, we also have a kind of a, a, a X-ray image of the road. Uh, we do an intensity map based on the uh, reflectivity of, of the, the asphalt and, and the road markings to um, discover um, variations in material and, and to analyze road markings. You know, Philip, in the video that you supplied us here for this interview, I, I'm really impressed at the accuracy. In fact, you, you can see a, a manhole cover, you can see a sewer gutter, just in stunning accuracy. So tell us a little bit about how you get this picture on the road scanning. How do you get this picture to be so accurate? Yeah, uh, we are one of the older LiDAR companies. Eh? Actually, road scanning was the first application we picked to develop our multi-beam uh, technology. Initially, we've been doing this with preview systems to uh, control the active suspension of a car, eh? to create a flying uh, carpet uh, uh, experience. Um, we further worked on that technology. We further improved uh, the performance. And uh, now we are digitizing uh, the roads uh, with dedicated uh, Xenotrack uh, systems uh, for, for best uh, possible uh, accuracy. But also uh, productivity is an important uh, item. So we scan the road uh, lane wide and we collect uh, a lot of data to have the, the nice presentation you're referring to. Right. So Philip, it seems to me, and I want to make sure I'm understanding this right, but it seems to me this new 60 LIDAR, there is a lot of benefit for municipalities and city governments and, you know, those entities that need to maintain their roads all, all across the world. Yeah, uh, you're right. Eh? So, uh, indeed, we are serving a different market uh, with this business activity, uh, not just uh, automotive customers, but also uh, road owners. And the type of data we uh, deliver to them is very valuable to plan maintenance. At least now they know what parts of the road needs most attention. They can also do a follow-up on how roads uh, degrade. Uh, all of this is, is valuable uh, to, uh, to plan maintenance. For road users, there's also a nice benefit because we do a quality assessment of the road. We uh, characterize the comfort level. And imagine that on your um, navigation system, if you want to drive from A to B, you get the option to uh, pick a more comfortable uh, road. And maybe uh, a mile longer, but uh, avoiding cobblestones might be a nice feature. Absolutely. You know, Philip, I, I've, I've always thought that since you've launched this road scanning business, that this is a very good next step towards consumer adoption of automated vehicles. What are your thoughts on that? Uh, correct. Uh, Self-driving cars need more comfort uh, than um, the comfort we have in cars today. Eh? Today, uh, as you are driving, you're paying attention to the road. You see what's coming and you can anticipate uh, when uh, the, the car is to uh, brake or when you're accelerating. In a self-driving car, you're distracted. You're doing other things. So to do these other things in a comfortable way, the vehicle by itself has to be uh, much more uh, stable. Eh? We have to achieve the, the comfort level that you have in a train or an airplane. Um, to do that on the road uh, requires additional eyes that scan the road for information on how uh, the, the quality of the road is. Right. So, Philip, you have this new road scanning business, but 
as you said before, there, there has been a lot of developments within Zenomatics since, since we talked last year at, at AutoSense. And one of those things is that software is now becoming an important part of your business. And, and in particular, talking about 4D AI for object detection. Can you tell us a little bit about that and why you've decided to expand and go that way with Zenomatics? Yeah. Uh, in the early days, uh, when people were comparing LiDAR technologies, it was all about uh, quality of point clouds. But in the end, nobody's interested in a point cloud. A, a point cloud does not make a car drive by itself. Uh, what matters is uh, detection of objects, very reliable uh, detection. And we feel that uh, when having full control over our hardware, we can also uh, create the software to get the best possible uh, detection results. And so we're evolving from uh, just a ladder company to what we call a perception company, a perception solution that consists of uh, hardware and software. And uh, this has been accelerated by uh, the invention of what we call four-dimensional AI. You know, we have this particular type of uh, LiDAR that is based on a CMOS detector. So it gives a kind of image, but not a flat 2D image. It gives a four-dimensional image. And we have created a neural network that does uh, object detection based on uh, a more dimensional space, a four-dimensional space, resulting in more reliable detection. So, Philip, with, 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 with all of that in mind, um, talking about a LiDAR technology company like Xenomatics, what is necessary for a LiDAR technology company to be successful in the automotive market? What are your thoughts on that? Yeah, uh, good question. Eh? We've been discussing a, a lot about technology. Of course, a company needs uh, a good technology, but that is not sufficient uh, to make it in automotive. Um, we believe it is also very important to um, build the right um, uh, access to the market, the right gateway. And we believe for uh, LiDAR technology companies, uh, that gateway is uh, partnerships, cooperations with uh, tier ones. Yeah? Um, LiDAR company startups do not have the credibility uh, to uh, get direct business uh, from car manufacturers. And tier ones uh, play a very uh, valuable role. Uh, they are more experts in um, industrializing something, in integrating it into a vehicle. And uh, from uh, the very early days of Xenomatics, we have been given this a lot of attention. Uh, you remember our uh, windshield mounted LiDAR uh, in, as a result of a cooperation with AGC, for example. So integration is important and also the cooperation uh, with tier ones uh, is important. And look at uh, the LiDAR landscape. Uh, there are many uh, companies, but only a handful of them has a proper um, a partnership or cooperation with the tier one. We are proud uh, to be in this um, uh, uh, club of uh, this group, a uh, selected group of, uh, of companies. We're one of the few who has a decent uh, cooperation uh, with Marelli, that's public information, but also with other uh, tier ones. So th that leads me to a, a, a couple of questions. Um, first is, how is that cooperation going with Morelli? How are things developing there? Yeah. Uh, it's a very exciting uh, journey. Uh, we're bringing together uh, competences, the optoelectronics uh, uh, competence of genomatics, our dynamics, together with uh, the industrialization competence and uh, the, so the solid business of, uh, of a tier one. Uh, so it's, it's a good uh, cocktail. It's an interesting journey. We learn a lot. Uh, they learn a lot. Uh, there is good uh, uh, progress. And it's a, it's a real tight cooperation. Uh, it's... Um, it's very uh, operational, very down to earth, and uh, exciting products uh, will uh, result from that cooperation. So, Philip, uh, back to what you were saying a, a second ago the importance of uh, cooperation and collaboration with your customers, with the automakers. To help facilitate that, you have opened some new offices. So, you have local offices in Germany and China. Uh, where I live in, in Detroit, you recently opened an office. So. Tell us a little bit about these new offices and, and, and let's, touch, let's touch again on why that's important. Yeah. Of course, our focus is uh, on the uh, automotive market. Uh, we have to be uh, present in all uh, areas that are uh, relevant for uh, automotive uh, business, uh, even as a scale-up uh, company. Um, our headquarters is uh, still in Leuven in Belgium, uh, but we have indeed in the last 12 months opened uh, regional offices in Germany, uh, in the US, in the Detroit area, 
and in China. We are also represented in other automotive uh, areas like uh, Japan, uh, South and South Korea, and in Silicon Valley uh, through uh, partners and dealers. So, Philip, one of the things we have talked about in in, in the past, and, and I always I always enjoy I always enjoy covering this with you, but the definition of true solid state lidar. Tell us again, what does that mean, and why is that important? True solid yeah. state lidar. Yeah. Yeah, the, the word solid state is a buzzword. Everybody likes uh, using it. Uh, so I'm happy to explain again what true solid state means. Solid state has a double meaning. Uh, solid state on the one hand means no moving parts, no scanning mechanism. Uh, that's uh, clearly um, part of the definition um, we subscribe uh, with our multi-beam uh, approach. Solid state has a, a second meaning. It means a solution based on semiconductor components. Uh, and that type of solid state is very scalable. So if uh, components that uh, are coming from a fab, it's uh, more easy to, to ramp up and to just uh, serve on the, the law of more. And also that's a definition uh, we need uh, in our uh, LIDAR. That's why we call it true solid state. Right. Also, Philip, a, a topic we have talked about before, and we actually talked about this last year, but talking about the windshield LIDAR. And I just, I wanna go over this one more time for our viewers. The importance of, of this is integration, to have successful integration in the vehicle. Let's cover one more time why that's, impor why that's important and how Zenomatics helps address that. Yeah, uh, we all want to buy a, a good looking car. Yeah? Technology should not be on the outside of the car. Um, cars evolve for uh, 100 years and they continue to be uh, uh, beautiful uh, machines. If now all of a sudden we are going to stick a technology uh, on the outside, breaking the design line, that's, somebody, nobody, that's something nobody wants. Yeah? And that's why we believe when uh, developing perception technology, uh, we still have to pay attention to hide that uh, uh, technology and to make sure it can does its job, but without uh, breaking uh, the design of, uh, of cars. Philip, I'm, I'm always so pleased to talk with you and, and, and get caught up. I, I've always admired what Xenomatics is doing and, 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 and your story. And, and now this new road scanning business is very exciting. Uh, in, in the last few minutes that we have, is there anything you'd like to add? Is there anything you'd like to summarize again? Is there anything that we may have missed? Uh, we continue to evolve as a company. It's exciting. There are exciting times ahead for uh, automotive, uh, for, uh, for lighter companies, but we see many good uh, evolutions. Uh, the discussion uh, moves away from technology, moves into industrialization, moves into uh, applications. And that's, uh, it's a sign of, uh, of progress uh, of, the, of the market. And uh, we're uh, one of the players uh, who indeed uh, make uh, good uh, progress uh, as well. And uh, again, with, uh, with road scanning, uh, we tapped into uh, something new, something that is uh, still relevant uh, for automotive, um, but also with, with high ambition. Yeah? Our ambition is to um, digitize uh, all the, the roads and to make a kind of a street view, but then at a road level. So uh, the road profile anywhere uh, is accessible to whoever uh, wants to use it. Philip, from all of us here at AutoSense, we want to wish you the best of luck going forward. Congratulations on all the recent uh, achievements, and I look forward to getting caught up with you at uh, another conference down the road later. Uh, thanks a lot, Carl, for this uh, nice conversation, and all the best to you. Speaking today with Philip Goons, the CEO of Zenomatics. For more great content from AutoSense, visit our hub or our YouTube channel. Just search AutoSense. Thank you.